Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in another one's human video. In this one we will talk about mods and specifically about mods conversion, right? But before we do that I need to say a few things. So first I need to say that I smoke a lot of weed guys and uh, that's why some of my videos are not that great. Sometimes I forgot to say some things or whatever. But that's all because of that, because I smoke every day for the last 20 years and that's just what I do and I said to myself, I will record the video first, then I will smoke, and then I just, <laughs> I can't do it, I just smoke again, and then I do a video, you know what I mean? So the same thing is going on now, but let's let's start now and talk about the mods, guys. So first things you want to do, you want to wait for the, you want to wait for the phase four, right? To start using, to start using your controllers, guys, because here, these controllers, right, you can get them with doing commissions or public crisis events. So public crisis events are on the map, like this one, Ancient One Trial, right? And uh, once you do it, you will get the controller. So lots of different events are on the map spawning, and you need to do that to be able to get controllers. And another thing, if you summon V, talk with him, we have commissions, and I see here, there's the another thing, how to get controllers. And on the map each week, you will see this house. Where is it now? A moving house, and then you can get seven controllers from there, right? But what I wanted to say, guys, you want to wait for the phase four, because you see now here, phase four, it unlocks the pro mode dungeons, right? Because when you do these easy modes, right, and then the hard ones, you will get the modes from Silas's and from bosses, but they will not gonna have the purple stats right so you're gonna get these shitty mods like this like this so you're not gonna get purple stat mods you know what I mean because only in season 4 guys I mean in uh, in phase 4 right when the pro mode dungeons are available then when you go do dungeons and bosses on pro mode right then you will get every time you will get mods like this because let me go to unstable bomber because I'm playing the jobs this season and I'm playing unstable bomber and the power surge so I have lots of unstable bomber and the power surge modes here as you can see and you want to wait for the pro because you when you do silences and bosses on pro then you will get the mods with at least one purple guaranteed guys and you need this to be purple for the mod conversion to work you know what I mean so you want to wait for the pro then go do dungeons and bosses on the pro and then, when you want to convert the mods, you come here, you pick what you want, you can see here where all your mods, right? So now, because I have a lot of them for the power surge, and for the unstable bomber, we're gonna do that. So, because I want to convert now, I'm building the unstable bomber, right? Build for the Javs, and I'm building power surge build for the soccer outsider. I mean, from unstable bomber, the best three mods, guys are this one for crit rate to raise the damage this one for PvE for killing bosses and shit you wanna use this one because you will never stop sh stop shooting then you will never reload almost and this mod works very good in PvE right but for PvP it's better to use this one or maybe this one but now I want to explain something about these two guys now you see the reckless bomber for every 1% crit rate and stable bomber damage is 0.5 so it's half of this right and the other one here, it says triggering unstable bomber, grants unstable bomber damage 5% for 3 seconds, it can stack 6 times. So this means again, 6 times 5 is 30%, guys. So you cannot have more than 30% with this one. And if you have more than 60% crit rate, then you will have more than 30 with this one, you know what I mean? So you can use this one if your crit rate is not more than 60%, and you want to use this one. If your crit rate is over 60%, like it's mine now, if I go here, guys, click on gear, and you will see now, okay, weapon is not equipped. So if I equip this weapon, press C, you will see now my crit rate is 35.5, right? And with this, when this activates, it's going to be 70. So then, I will rather use this mode, right, so weapon mods, unstable bomber, and I will rather use this mode, where is that mode now? So this one. No, but this one, because with 70% crit rate, I will have 35% un 
unstable bomber damage. So this is the best mode for raising the crit, for raising the unstable bomber damage, right? But only if you have the crit rate more than 60. So what I had now here. So this is my gear for this now. Lone Wolf set, three parts, just the Shaman Vulture top, and I still have this for max HP and element damage, right? And the gun, rapid shot style, crit rate on both stats. And that's why is all this like that. But now let's go to mod conversion, guys. So after you have enough mods to do conversion, you want to come here. And now the other thing to say, if you press X on this, you can see the attribute generation rules, right? So we have violent talents and burn. So violent means you're going to get fixed crit. Linked is going to be weapon damage magazine capacity and reload. And this is like this. And all this down is going to be the same for everything. Then the talents are just Element damage, status damage, all this the same. And the uh, violent is crit damage, weapon damage, and all this the same again. So depend what you want, you pick here. And if you have exactly that attribute for burn, that's the best one, you, of course, but this one is hard to get. And usually, now if I want to build unstable bomber, and I want to build this one, right? So for every 1% crit rate, unstable bomber damage goes up. I want to make better one, because I already have these ones. As you can see now here, but these attributes are not that great, so only element damage is good. But everything else is not that great, status damage okay, but it's only 2.5 because it stayed in green. When I was leveling this, you see that legendary status damage reduction and then this was actually not, this is actually not great now and I want to make a better one like this with better stats, right? So because now, because I want to have like, so weapon mods, unstable bomber, I want this one. And now, because I want talents, right, I need to pick the suffix here, so I need to pick the talents, press F, and each time it's gonna cost 20,000, guys, but now when you press out fill, right, the game will automatically pick the best modes you have to give you the best chance. And now you see here, you always want to have the guaranteed epic, so you get one epic, and you want to have at least this, so minimum rarity common. That means that you will get it one epic, and then all the other three, it's going to be at least common, so you cannot get the grey ones, you know what I mean. But you want to raise this a little bit more, you know what I mean, so... Then you can play with this, you can click here, remove this. But now, because this is the best ones, now you see this dropped, right? And if I click these two, it's going to be again epic and minimum rarity common, because I need to add here to have at least one green or maybe two blues. But now, because I don't have better mods, let's try with this. So again, it's the same because it's one purple and three green. Here is one purple, one blue and two white, and it's the same. So now, because I don't have better ones, maybe I can go here. But again, the game added the best ones. So now I can get the better chance because you can get guaranteed a epic and guaranteed a rare to say here. And that's the best you can see. Let me try and do another mod just to see. So we're going to do again the unstable bomber. But this time, I think for this I have a bit more mods, right? So let's pick talents again. Let's do the auto fill. But again, it's minimum rarity common. Okay, let's do the armor mods and the mask then. And I want to make here, like, not the shrapnel, but exactly this one. So when unstable bomber hits only one enemy, unstable bomber final damage 25%. So if you're killing bosses or whatever, it's gonna be good with this one. And if I go here, so my armor mods, my mask, and now you can find here, because you know the image, this is like unstable bomber, but I don't want this one. So this is bounce, power surge, shrapnel, burn, roast vortex, and we have here lots of four new these unstable bombers, and this is my best one now. So as you can see, only unstable bomber 1.2, again, when I was leveling this, I got the gold one. This is the shittiest one, and unstable bomber trigger chance, so these two are good stats, but they didn't go to legendary, so it's not great, I want to make this one better one, you know what I mean. And uh, this, element damage, again, all three others are not that great, so these two I tried to make better ones, but with leveling, I didn't get luck, and this is what I got, you know what I mean, and these other ones here are even worse, so now we're gonna try and make one better one with this. So go to mask, go to this, and now if I pick again the talents, right, 
because we want that and out of fill. And now you see, you want to have this chance always, guys. So guaranteed epic and guaranteed rare. That means it's going to be one stat is going to be purple, one stat is going to be blue, and two others is going to be mixed. So you can get maybe one epic, two blues, one green, or whatever. You know what I mean. So we're going to do this on now. And if you don't want to use now, guys, another thing to say. You want to lock your mods that you don't want to use. You know what I mean? With the C. Like this. And then you cannot use them here. Because if you if you make one good mod and you don't lock it and you forget about it, then you will probably use it for another conversion and you will fuck it up, right? So when you make a good mod, just lock it with the C, guys. And you cannot use it then here. And that's it. And you will not fuck up your good mods, right? But now what I wanted to say, if you want... You want to have this chance, right? Epic and guaranteed, but... If you have a lot of mods, you can then pick, you can now try and choose. And another thing to say again, if you don't have for this, Epic guaranteed, and... Rare guaranteed, then you want at least this, so guaranteed Epic and minimum rarity to be common. So then you know, you will get one Epic, and all the others is gonna be at least green ones, guys. You're not gonna get grey stats. So you want at least this, and the best one is this, Guaranteed Epic and Guaranteed Rare. Then you need to play with these stats here, to see what you're gonna get. So if I now add this two, again is Minimum Rarity Common, and now Guaranteed Rare, let's try with this, Minimum Rarity Common. Now you see, it, it must be, I cannot add the mod that have the grey stats, because it's not gonna give the Guaranteed Rare, right? So it needs to be all green, one blue and one purple at least. But let me see, can I do maybe... Two blues and then one of these with and now you see if I add one purple, two blue, one green, and then the other one can be with grey ones, and it's still gonna stay guaranteed in epic. And now you see you can mix and match these colors here until you get what you want, right? So at least at least it must be this guaranteed epic and minimum rarity to this one. And you want to have this one. And once you are happy what you added mods what you want, you can change also these, right? So if I don't want this good ones, I can try and do something else, right? So let's try and add this, one purple and all green, right? So what I'm gonna get, and let's add, let's add, let's add this one, right? So, chance to obtain, and uh, you know what I mean, it's not good. Now if I go here and add the best two, I almost got what I wanted again, but now... Yeah, okay, so this is the best I can get now from here, you know what I mean, and now you can... You can do it like this, but you need to have mods in each one, at least one purple, guys, to be able to get this guaranteed purple. <coughs> and that's why you need to do pro, you need to do pro ones, you know what I mean, you need to wait for the phase 4, until this is unlocked, pro mod dungeons, and then you go and just do them, guys. Then come on mod conversion and do conversion. And now finally, let's do one, so I'm gonna do unstable bomber, but this one, right, and... We're gonna pick the suffix to be talents, out of fill. And now because this is the best I can get for this one, right? Let me just see. Yeah, this is all shit. I can use all this because... So once you are happy guys, 20k, guaranteed epic minimum rarity common, and let's see. Don't remind me today what I'm gonna get, and... So we got one purple, shit. Weapon damage reduction, this one exclusive, green. And now you see guys, 20k, 6 mods, lost. And I got the shitty one again, right? And that's... this is how this works. It's actually gambling, right? So this is the mod I got now. And this one is again better. You know what I mean, because... Only one good start here, and all the trees against shit, so I will use this one for conversion again, guys. And this is how it works. You will need to do a lot of conversion to get what you want, because it's always going to be random stats. So now let's do one more with the mask, guys. And I want this one, try to make better one, right? So point detonation again for unstable bomber. We're going to pick the talents. And out of fill. And now we have the guaranteed epic and guaranteed rare, right? Let me just check these mods. Yeah, okay, I can use all this. This magazine capacity, let me just see. What we have here, can I use maybe... Some shittier ones. Minimum rarity, come on. But I want this to be blue. 
let me see here yeah it's always with one white let's try use this one yeah okay we need to do it like that so just go back guys go here again pick all this again talents and out of fill so it must be always one purple everywhere right blue green so you don't want whites at all okay let's do it like this one with these modes because it's all I don't need any of these yeah and now we got element damage frost okay head damage reduction again it's shit max HP shit damage again oh it's shit again you know what I mean guys so this mod conversion is not that great you need to use a lot of mods spend a lot of cash to get then the same shit what you had before you know what I mean so, so now you see that this one I mean when reloading an empty magazine what the fuck man okay so let's do the mask now guys so go here mask and I want this one Unstable bomb hits one enemy, right? So we will pick talents again. Out of fill and guaranteed epic minimum rarity common again. So if I change now here, but I don't have enough good mods to get this to blue. So I'm not gonna do the next one, but now you saw how this works, guys. You need to add six mods, right? Pick your suffix. You want violent precision or talents. And then play here with the colors of your mods to get the chance to get guaranteed epic and guaranteed rare. If you don't have for that, you want to have at least guaranteed epic and minimum rarity to be like this. So this is what you want at least. So guaranteed epic one and minimum rarity to be green. And then you're gonna get what I got now. And this was this one. So not good. You know what I mean, guys. But now you see how this works, so wait for the phase 4, then go do the pro dungeons and bosses, get the mods guys, go to the mods, go to conversion and just pick what you want here, pick whatever you want here, then just add them here, pick your suffix guys, spend 20k, and roll the stats, and that's all about the mod conversion guys, I think I said now everything, so if you like what you see consider liking, subscribing and commenting on this video guys, and Join me in another one's human video where we're going to do something else. Until then, bye.